Hey guys, there are a few things every rider should check before going out on a ride in order to take full advantage of their bikes. It's kind of a checklist that I have and I'm going to show you uh, where I usually cover the tires, the spokes, the chain and the air filter. So let's get to it. So with the chain you should always make sure it's properly lubed up and believe it or not that will make your chain last so much longer just having this small gear. And when you touch it, it should look nice and glossy like this. With the air filter, if you haven't checked the last time you rode, it's definitely a good time to check it right now. A clean air filter will make you take full advantage of your engine's bike. This one is still good for another, for another ride. Something that's really overlooked, it's usually the tension of your spokes. And it makes a huge difference while riding because sometimes there are a lot of people that stop riding because they broke two or three spokes because they never check it. So you have two ways to, to check your spokes tension. It's simply like squeezing a pair of those and going all around both sides and whenever you feel that there's a pair that's a bit looser, just tighten them. Tighten them a quarter of a, of a turn every time or each time, check it again and so on. Or if you want to do the more artistic way is grabbing a key and turning the wheel and listening to your, to your spokes. So whenever you hear a lower pitch uh, on your spokes, you tighten them, one quarter of a turn each time, and then check it again. And so on until you don't hear any difference or major difference on your spokes sound. Last but not least, it's your tire's pressure. It makes such a difference every time you ride, and obviously it depends if you change, for example, the place you ride and the terrain. But usually what I do, with my, uh, with my setup is when I go ride to a faster place or a faster track I usually set the tire pressure to around 0.9 one bar and whenever I go do some hard enduro or some uh, go ride to some places where there are a lot of more rocks I usually go for 0 0.7, 0 0.8 so it depends obviously on your feel, on your tires but usually that's what I go and takes advantage a lot more of your bike when riding you get such a huge difference in traction that really makes a difference so that's it that's my checklist please let me know your checklist and tell me other things that I should add on my checklist maybe and if you like the videos please subscribe and let me know what you think about the videos okay bye